What's going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're discussing the new Wes Anderson comedy drama by the name of The French Dispatch, a film I got the chance to check out the other night and I'm really excited to let you all know what I thought about the movie and if you should give it a watch all in this spoiler free review. Before we break it all down, do me a favor and check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel, well welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you enjoyed this spoiler free movie review we'll make sure to like and share the review it helps out the channel a lot but I also appreciate all the support and in those comments let me know if you all were looking forward to seeing this movie but more importantly once you've seen it what you think about it let's talk about Wes Anderson's direction there are three different stories going on in this film which was your favorite which was your least favorite and since we're talking about Wes Anderson a very unique very creative director if you've seen a good amount of his films which are some of your favorite Wes Anderson films let me know in the comments below so going into this movie I was pretty pretty excited. I gotta say, I'm, I'm a fan of Wes Anderson. He's one of those directors where I just can't like randomly put on a Wes Anderson movie. Like I have to be like someone in the mood because he's a very artur, very creative director, which I love that about him. Like there's no two of the same Wes Anderson movies. Expect the unexpected. So I love that about him. He has a distinct style and I love this cast. Like it's some, obviously some common faces that he's worked with in the past. There's some new faces in the mix and I really enjoyed the trailer. So here we are discussing it, starting off with my positives. I, I want to start things off talking about the unique creative, you know, kind of uh, quirky director in Wes Anderson. I mean, his filmography speaks for himself, whether it be films like Rushmore, The Royal Tenenbaums, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Moonrise Kingdom, The Grand Budapest Hotel, one of my personal favorites as far as animation goes, Isle of Dogs, and now he's back. This is his first like live action film in like seven or eight years. So I got to say, man, if you are a Wes Anderson fan, this is the most Wes Anderson movie that you can possibly imagine. I mean, it has all of the camera angles, the comedy beats, again, familiar faces, the pacing, the uniqueness. And that's something I really appreciate. It's so funny. I, I This week alone, I have, by the time I'm recording this, I have seen Denis Villeneuve's Dune. I have seen Edgar Wright's The Last Night of Soho and now Wes Anderson's film. It's just, I always appreciate, no matter if I like a film, dislike a film, I always appreciate a director having a distinct style which separates him from the pack. You can never expect the same thing from a, a, a director like Wes Anderson. And this was something that was very unique. Some stuff worked, you know, which we'll talk about obviously in a second here, but some stuff didn't work for me. But overall, I always applaud the risk. I always applaud the uniqueness about his direction. I thought he did a really good job in that directing chair. But I want to focus a little bit here on the things that did work for me in regards to this is a very untraditional three-act structure. We do get three acts of the film, but there are three different stories. I guess you can look at it as kind of like an anthology film. We're essentially following this newspaper ran by Bill Murray, and they're writing their last newspaper. And starting off with Act 1, the first story here, which is essentially a story of art, I gotta say, it was my favorite story. It includes an all-star killer cast, starting off with one of my favorite characters in the entire movie, played by Benicio Del Toro as Moses. You have Tilda Swinton, you have Adrian and Brody, you have Lee Sedex, and this was just a fantastic part of this film. This, without diving too deep into it, Benicio Bertoro plays Moses, who is a, a, a killer. He's a psychopath killer who's in prison, but besides him being a killer, he's a hell of an artist, and we're seeing characters like Adrian Brody, who was in jail for tax reasons. He's trying to manipulate the system to get this artist and his work out for people to see. Meanwhile, you have this officer who is used as a part of art play by Lisa Nex and I thought that that was just such a fascinating relationship and such a fascinating story and at the heart of the story and it is one of the reasons why I think it's the most like concise most kind of like structured story out of three. At the end of the day, it's a it's a very simple story about love without giving too much away, but I really appreciated the the comedy beats, the Tilda Swinton as she's describing the situation to the people buying his art pieces. But again, it was Benicio Bertero's performance. It was, you know, Tilda Swinton's involvement. It was Adrian Brody trying to manipulate the situation. I really had a good time with that particular act. And I thought like for me personally, it was the best one out of the three. We'll talk about the second one in my criticisms because it was my least out of the three, but it, it has an interesting cast, Timothy Chalamet, Francis McDormand, uh, and, and a couple other great all-stars, but it was my least favorite. I'm going to leave that for a little bit later, but my second favorite act within this three-act structure of this tale, of this anthology, films of stories to be told, involve a, a food critic played by the incredible Jeffrey Wright, and this one was probably the most unique story because it involved uh, a couple 
cool creative choices one being animation to kind of cut corners this is like unique chase sequence that takes place in in the particular story but i thought that that was a really unique one it might be a little bit off the cuff for some people but again i always applaud wes anderson for trying something different and talking about again just the simplicity of that story it's a story about a father and a son and a, and a father doing whatever it takes to protect his son. And uh, I really enjoyed that. I do have some criticism with the third one because there were some huge actors that I love and adore that didn't really get as much screen time as I wanted to. But I would have to say either three, that was my second favorite. But those are kind of my thoughts on like the story. Again, it's a very simple story, to be honest with you all. Again, Bill Murray is running this. Uh, this is a love letter to journalism. He's running a newspaper. They're writing the last article and we're just essentially seeing three Three different art, politics, and criticism on food being how the writers are going out to find this story. That's essentially the story at hand. But again, it's broken down in three chapters. And I thought that chapter one and chapter three were the best. And then kind of wrapping my thoughts on some things that I really enjoyed about this film. This film has some really great performances. Again, there's really not like a like arc for certain characters because it's not like a traditional story but I do enjoy no matter if someone was on screen for 15 minutes 20 minutes or 15 seconds or one minute I thought that all the actors it's like watching a a, a ensemble of like play actors getting on stage having a fun time with a director they like to work with a director that likes to work with these people you can see the synergy and the energy with all these actors working with Wes Anderson so I I, I felt the the passion, the love, the fun with all these actors, no matter how long they were on screen. So I really enjoyed that aspect. But jumping into my criticism, I mentioned the three different stories, two being my least favorite. Again, it's a political story. It involves Timothy Chalamet, who's having a hell of a week. Uh, by the time I'm recording this review, it's Dune out today, and it's this film out today. But I have to say, he wasn't bad. Again, no one had a bad performance, but I just wasn't engaged in the story. It was probably the most like uninteresting story for me personally. And again, it wasn't anything to do with the direction, nothing to do with the actual acting. It just was a story I just found to be the weakest out of the three, which also brings me to, as I mentioned, the third story involving the food criticism with Jeffrey Wright at the head of that story. The only thing that was a little bit disappointing, there were characters and actors like Ed Norton, Saoirse Ronan, uh, William Dafoe that were involved in the story, but they were like on screen for like two seconds. And I was like, oh man, I love when they collaborate with Wes Anderson. I would love to see this actor work with this actor for the first time or share the screen for the first time. And unfortunately, we don't get that, which was a little bit, you know, just for me being selfish because I love those actors. But that was kind of like a little bit of a letdown. It's just like you have this huge ensemble of cast, but unfortunately, some of the actors didn't get the, the shine that I wish they would have had. Again, it didn't serve the story. It's just me being selfish. I love those actors. And that kind of brings me to my last point. At the end of the day, you know, this is like watching an art movie because, you know, you see things you like, you see things like, ah, I can go without, but it really doesn't have like a traditional story, right? There's not a trajectory of like, okay, this character is here at the beginning of the film and we're going to see them at this point in the film because we're getting three different stories. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to like necessarily gravitate and connect emotionally to the story and to the actors and to the characters because we went from one story to next story to the next story and then we end things up with Bill Murray and his newspaper company so I wasn't able to like fully invest myself into the story so with all that being said before I give you all my overall thoughts and my score before we get to that point make sure if you haven't already to like the video share the video leave your thoughts in the comments and of course subscribe to the channel overall again I'm a fan of Wes Anderson I had a fun time with the film again I mentioned how the first act was fantastic and my favorite the Third act has some really good moments to it. Second act wasn't all that great for me, but I still applaud the creative choices by Wes Anderson. And ultimately, it was a film I enjoyed, but I'm not the biggest fan of some of the creative choices and some of the lack of depth with some of the characters. With that being said, I'm going to give The French Dispatch a 3.5 out of 5. And I'm going to say, if you're a Wes Anderson film, definitely go give this a watch. You're going to really enjoy it. If you're someone that's just kind of like a casual movie going type of person, I don't think this is something you have to go run out to the theaters to go see. Dune, I would say on the other hand, but not for someone that's just, you know, not familiar with Wes Anderson, not familiar with how he directs movies, because it's going to be very different and you might not enjoy this film. So that's just my thoughts. I want to know yours in the comments. If you've seen the film, your pros, your cons, which was your favorite story out of three, favorite character, 
moments that didn't work, let's talk about in the comments. And again, let me know your favorite Wes Anderson films in the comments below. If I were to give you all my top three, I'll probably have to go with Rushmore, The Royal Tenenbaums, and The Grand Budapest Hotel. And also, I gotta sneak in Isle of Dogs. I love that film. That's just my personal rankings. Let me know yours in the comments. Again, thank you all for watching this review. Before you leave, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell. That way you don't miss any of my future reviews. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you enjoyed this review. As you can see on the screen now, subscribe to my channel, check out my other content, and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.